Data from an Astros uh, database can be post-processed using Zona MV. Uh, in order to do this, though, you need to make sure that you use the 32-bit version of Zona MV because the Astros database interface, uh, called eBase for engineering database, is all a 32-bit application. So the uh, interface can only be loaded uh, when running the 32-bit version of Zone MV. So the version that you're running can be seen down here in the message output window. And in this case, I have the 64-bit build running to show you what will happen if you try to uh, load the uh, interface uh, DLL. So in this case, I go to import Astros database and you get this error message from the eBase API. Uh, so when you see this, then it indicates that either the DLL really is not visible or it just can't be loaded because you're running the 64-bit version. So, and the dialog will still come up, but without the uh, DLL interface, you won't be able to communicate with an Astros-generated Astros database. So we'll just go ahead and shut this down, and then we'll go ahead and run the 32-bit version of Astros. And when it comes up, then you'll see down in the message output window that it's running the 32-bit build. So to load an Astros database, you want to go to Import Astros Database. And then the top button here allows you to select the index file for an existing database. And when you generate an Astros database um, from an Astros input deck, you specify not only the database name and location, but optionally <clears throat> a password. And if you do use a password, you need to put the same password here in order to be able to access the data uh, on the database and the access, whether it's read, write, or admin uh, privilege. So in this case, we just want to read a database. We uh, did not use a password for the one that we created. So we can go select it. It happens to be uh, the predator model, uh, a modal analysis that was run on that Astros model. So the EDB file is an index file. We click open. And then if it's successful, it'll come up here in the uh, case control uh, list view window. So the top uh, cylinder shows the database, and this is the name of the database. If you click on it, double click on it, it will pop down and show if you have a structure model defined, which you always do uh, for an Astros run, as well as an aerodynamic model. In this case, we don't have the aero model defined, so we don't see it here. And then if you have any optimization, uh, packets that were run or analysis, they will be shown here. In this case, we did not do an optimization. We just did a modal analysis. So at this point, if you want to look at the structure model, you can click here and load it. Um, this is the same model that we loaded from the Astros input deck in a previous video. So we won't show the model again here um, through this process, but you can access it through here as well. Um, we're going to expand on the analyze tab. And then we see that there was only one boundary condition that was run for this analysis in, in um, Astros. We expand that. And we see that there was only one discipline that was run under this boundary condition, uh, modes, the first subcase. We expand that. And then we see that there's displacement output because we use the uh, print and or punch option in the Astros input to dump out the data to the database, which we need in order to read back and display the modes here, and strain of the structure. So in this case, we're going to show the um, displacement from the modes. We click on that, and then the interface will process the data. And we see here that we can load uh, the, the modes from all the modes that were run. We have 22 modes here. Or we can select an individual mode if we desire only loading one. Um, of course, if we load all modes, we can um, go through each one, so we don't. Uh, it's it's more convenient. And then the iteration number. In this case, we only have a final analysis because this was not an optimization run. If we run an optimization, and we have say uh, 15 iterations till convergence, then we would see uh, 15 iterations in here, and we can look at the modes of the structure at each iteration step, uh, if desired. And finally, there's an option here to load force and moment data for vector display. So if the analysis did generate force and moment um, information on the database, it can be loaded back and viewed using the uh, vector display option in Zone MV.
So in this case, we're just going to look at the modes. We load the data and uh, wait for the database to be read. And then we see down here that um, the number of entities processed were 81 off the database. And uh, so this is the model that's displayed. We can use the rotation tools and the controls view to put it in an orientation, a desired orientation for watching the, the modes. And we go up to the uh, tools menu option and go over to vector or animate vector button, which brings up this little dialog. We slide it over on the left here. And then we see that the first mode, the 1.85 hertz, the TT is the total translation, T1, T2, T3 are the translations in XYZ. So Zone MV gives you the option if you want to purely look at the motion of the mode in one specific direction, you can select that here. So uh, if we select the first one, which is the 1.85 hertz, uh, we can increase the number of time steps, say to 21. The scale factor will be 25% of the uh, maximum model dimension. And this is a loop option if we want to keep looping. So we can start the animation. And we see then that it uh, is a uh, body torsional type mode here. And we can stop the animation by clicking stop. If we go down to so any other mode, we can choose, for example, mode 7, which is an 8.7 hertz mode and view the animation there. And likewise, I'll just do one more here. Oh, that's T1 in the X, so we want to make sure we choose uh, total translation. So in this fashion, then we can go through and view the different modes. We can also choose the slider bar to a discrete location to st uh, stop uh, at one step of the animation and view the uh, displacement. So that's it. So um, in this fashion, then we can look at the modes from a modal run in an uh, Astros solution. As Astros is a multidisciplinary optimization system, it can be used to design composite uh, ply thickness distributions over, for example, a, a wing surface. And this can also be viewed using the Astros database loader in Zone MV. So to give an example of this, if we bring up the Astros database loader, uh, the password for this particular case was simply set as pass, and it is an intermediate complexity wing called ICW. And if we load the uh, index file for the database, then we see that the database is loaded here. There's a structure model, and if we do an optimization run where the uh, plate thickness is designed, we will end up with this plate thickness under the structural model within the case control uh, command. When we select that, if there's data on the database, it's displayed over here on the right hand side. Uh, plate thickness as the local design variable, and by default, the program will load the results for all layers together, but you have the choice of looking at all layers plus layer zero, which is the, uh, the default layer before the composite layers on top, if there is one, uh, layer zero only, and then any of the composite layers or the, the individual composite layers one through four plus the uh, initial layer. So uh, you have the option. For this case, we'll just select all layers and it, the program will add them together as a resultant thickness for display. Then because Astros is an optimization uh, process, it goes through iterations until it either achieves convergence or doesn't achieve convergence. And um, in this case, it achieved convergence after 20 iterations. So we can choose to view the uh, plate thickness at any iteration stage. Um, and for, the, for this particular case, we'll go ahead and look at the starting iteration where everything was set at the starting value so we don't have any thickness change and then the final iteration where it's designed uh, based on the um, loads that were applied and the constraints, for example, uh, stress limit constraints that were applied. So if we start with iteration one, we expect to see a, a, a solid thickness throughout. Um, so we load it. This is the structure model for the intermediate complexity wing. And if we go to zone settings, we see that it has uh, 62 plate type C quad four elements, uh, 
39C rods, 55C shear, and two uh, membrane elements. So it's a relatively small model. And we can click on the contour tab. And since we loaded the plate thickness using the uh, database, Astros database loader, it generates the, uh, the contour data for this case. And we see then that the entire model has a starting thickness then of 0.4 uh, inch. And uh, we can change the settings here if desired. So now we'll go ahead and load the result from the Astros optimization at the 21st iteration. So we'll open up a new document, go back to import. We have to do this for every particular uh, data that we load off the database. So we, again, so we know the password was pass, and we load the ICW database, database index file, go back to plate thickness, and this time we drop down to iteration 20 and load the data, go back to contour, and then we see for iteration 10, 20, this is the uh, minimum thickness uh, for all four plies that were designed in the Astros run for this particular case. So in this fashion, we can view the uh, plate thickness distributions uh, over a model uh, from an optimization run. So plate type element stresses can also be viewed using the Astros database loader. If within the input deck you have specified in your Astros input to uh, print out the uh, stress values, in this case here we see the print is opened up for stress equal all, and uh, we, in this case we're doing a, a trim analysis, and we have the, uh, the stress active here for the trim. So for the plate type elements, um, this is a generic business jet model we uh, output that information on the database and then we can view it on the structure model as a contour plot in uh, zone mb so for this case this example we'll go to import again the astros database this is the password is gbj for the generic business jet model and here is the uh, index file for the database when we open that up under analyze we see we have one boundary condition this is the trim subcase we can go down to the uh, stress option and then um, for statics uh, stress and we have the different layers that we can output individually or we leave layer zero and include non-layered to see um, all layers for element in this case we're just going to pick the uh, c quad four uh, we don't have it for the other elements and we will use the uh, the final analysis segment because there's only one uh, analyze in the input, it wasn't an optimization run. So um, this is a stress due to this trim condition. We click load and we see the structure model. Then we go click on the contour button in the controls view and we see that it is already uh, pre-populated with the stress results. This is the uh, normal X uh, values at Z Z1. Uh, and if we double click on the contour legend, it brings up the contour options dialog and we can select the different variable that we want to view. For example, if we wanted to see the von Meissey stress, it'll be at the bottom here. We can select that, increase the uh, number of levels to 31. We can change the minimum max value here if desired and click OK. We can move the legend by gra grabbing it in the view and dragging it. And we use the controls view to view the model. So this is the von Meissey stress distribution due to that particular uh, trim result that we ran in Astros for this generic business jet uh, wing structure model. So in this fashion, you can view the uh, stress results using the Astros database loader. For this same uh, generic business jet case that we just showed the stress results for, we also had out, uh, printed out to the database the uh, displacements due to that um, S arrow or trim run. So we can also view the static displacement due to this trim analysis uh, on, on the generic business jet structure model. So to do that, we can import the database. Again, the password was GBJ for this case. And we load the database. And if we go down to analyze boundary, first boundary condition, um, the trim analysis of case one, and we choose displacement of the structure, and then here under statics deformation, you can set the scale factor, 
Uh, right now it's set by default to 25% of the maximum model dimension, um, and it will import the total translation for X, Y, and Z at all grids. Or you can down select here if you wanted to just view the X, Y, or Z uh, purely in um, the displacement in those directions, you can do that. Um, and this check here is don't normalize the displacement. So if you don't want it normalized, um, you can have that checked. And then the iteration, because this is not an optimization run here, we just had a single analysis run. It says final analysis. So we click load data, and then we can use the controls view to orient the model as desired. And here we see the blue model is the original structure model. And the red model here is the deformed uh, structure model due to that trim condition. Uh, if we click on the zone settings, then what the program will do is the first uh, four elements here, C bar, C last two, C quad four, and RB two, was for the undeformed model. And then the program will apply the deformation at all grids and regenerate those zones, but with the extension of DISP. So for example, zone five here, the C bar DISP is the original zone with the uh, displacement from the trim added uh, to that zone and likewise for the others. So if we wanted to just see the displaced model, we can um, turn off the original baseline model by clicking on the first element, holding the shift key clicking on through uh, zone four, and then deactivating those zones. And then this way we can view uh, purely the uh, deformed structure model. And we can turn the elements off if we just wanted to see the shaded wing model. All right, so these are some options. Um, and in this fashion, then you can load the uh, static displaced structure model uh, due to either loads or in this case, uh, a trim analysis.